seems to be a recurring theme. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Shelby Downing, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. In my previous video that I did with Bron, the ugly location photo shoot challenge, she had said that she still buys CDs and I was like, me too, and DVDs. And she was so shocked that I still buy and collect DVDs. So today, I am showing you guys my DVD collection. I've got four massive stacks of all my DVDs in front of me and I'm pretty much just gonna be showing you them and yeah, so this is not in any particular order or favorite or genre or anything. I'm literally just grabbing, showing you and recommending. Let's do this. Okay, so first part we've got quite a new movie. Split. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. And next up, The Reverend. I actually have the book of this as well, and I've started reading it, and I haven't finished it yet, so I really need to finish the book, but I really love the movie. It's hectic and very suspenseful, but it's a goodie. One of my absolutely favorite Disney movies in the whole world. Fox and the Hound and I bought the Golden Special Edition Collector's one. So yes. Another Disney favorite, Mulan. This is probably one of like my top five favorite movies. It's a war movie, but it's incredible. Fury. It's such a goodie guys. It is such a goodie. And it's based on a true story as well. So, it's hectic. Now we bring out the tear jokers. Guys, if you have not seen this movie, please go and watch it. A Dog's Purpose. Now, this movie had me crying almost every five minutes. Like, I was sad, but then the moment you start crying because you're so sad, something really happy happens, and then you're crying because you're happy, and then you don't know if you're sad or you're happy or where you are in your life, and you don't know what you're doing with your life. It's a must. Go watch this if you have not seen it. And then a classic, 50 First Dates. So when I was a kid, there was still like DVD stores and stuff. And when I was like five or six years old, I used to go and make my mom hire Free Willy almost every weekend. So I've got Free Willy, the first one and the second one. This was like, this is my childhood right here. The next movie is also in my top five favorites. Hello, Bobby. Hello. Hello. Look who came to join. Look who came to join. He's left now, as I was saying. So this next one is also in my top five favorites and it is so hectic, but it's amazing and it is the Grey with Liam Neeson. It's a goodie. Then more of a recent one as well. So I am a massive Will Smith fan. Like Will Smith is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite actor. And he's amazing and just, yes. So it is concussion. It's a goodie. It's hectic. It's hectic, but it's good. And then how can you not own this? Deadpool. So good. Again, another war movie, as you guys I think are starting to see. I love war movies. Jarhead, another favorite of mine. Wally. -E. I feel like this movie showed us what we are busy doing to our earth. And nobody paid attention, and now we're doing it. So, and another tearjerker, the lucky one. Also, war based movie. Seems to be a recurring theme. The next one, I didn't really enjoy it like crazily amounts, but it also wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen. And I think I only bought the DVD because it's filmed in the city I currently live in. So if you guys are guessing District 9, you are correct. Another comedy, Hot Chick. This is the one where they do like the earrings and then it swaps like the people. 
a goodie. This one is also filmed in Joburg and I actually really love this one. It's got Dianne Foot in as well and it's just the weirdest fucking movie but I love it and that is Chappie. It's a goodie. It's a goodie. And for another Will Smith one, seven pounds. This is a tearjerker as well. I cried a lot. It's good. Go watch it if you haven't. So the next one is also in my top five favorites and it is The Eagle. I love this movie so much. Dear John, tearjerker, beautiful, and another war story kind of. Don't judge me for this next one. Actually, there's a few that you guys are probably going to judge me on, but you know what? It's fine. I'll take it. Have to. Lara Croft. Yeah, another Disney one, Little Mermaid, and then, okay, so we just went from Little Mermaid to It. This is possibly one of my favorites as well, it's definitely in my top five. It was, I watched it at cinemas I think four times, and like, <laughs> I just could keep watching this, like, I swear it gets more and more funny as you watch it. I can't wait for chapter 2 to come out, like I'm so excited. 127 hours. Hectic. If I stay. Also, hectic maybe. Suspenseful. Another dog tearjerker. Marley and me. In my top fave. Watch X. If you have not seen this movie, what have you been doing with your life? Why have you not seen this movie? Stop what you're doing right now and go and watch this movie. I just pulled my hair there. That's how passionate and excited I am about this. You need to go watch this movie if you haven't. It is the best, literally. Oh. And then I was a huge Charmed fan. So I got those. <laughs> so I really got um, I've got the complete four, five, six, and eight. I haven't been able to find any of the others, unfortunately, but yeah. Now the next one, guys, I was a huge fan of Barbie movies, so I had to get the top Barbie movies that I used to love as a kid on my collection. So this is the Nutcracker. And it's a classic, okay? Don't judge me. This is also quite a recent-ish movie. It's called Lion. It is insane. You'll cry, 100%. Definitely another, like, classic. Nicolas Cage, National Treasure, the first one. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's in that collection, mm-hmm. And then it would not be complete without a Harry Potter. I've actually only got one Harry Potter DVD. Um, this is the third one, The Prison of Azkaban, and it is my favorite. Then, possibly one of my all-time favorites. Again, Will Smith, huge fan. I Am Legend. This movie. So I also bought the special edition to this one, and it has three different end scenes. So the movie actually ends three different filmed ways, and this one has all of them on so another huge one that i love and again war movie full metal jacket yep it's a goodie it's a goodie back to some more lovable non-war disney kind of thing a bug's life i think a bug's life was actually the first like film i ever I love this one. Absolutely loved it. I actually haven't watched this in a while, so I should watch it again. And then again, don't judge me, don't at me in the comments. Barbie and the Diamond Castle. Guys, when you got two Barbie movies, okay, it was my two favorite when I was a kid, so leave me alone. The Lion King. Yes, the Lion King literally one of my favorites so Lion King I recently watched the new live action whatever you call it Lion King 
and I actually really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. Comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a review on my opinion of this Lion King, the original one versus the new one that's just come out. Let me know. Guys, zombies. Love zombies. World War Z. Zombies. Yes. And ending it off with uh, season one, episode one, two, and three of Charmed. Yeah. That is all of the DVDs that I have collected so far. I try and get a new one every like month or so just to add to the collection. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my DVD collection. Very random, very strange, but yes, those are the ones I have collected and spent my hard earned money on. So mm -hmm. leave a comment down below on which movie out of the ones that I have collected you love the best. And yeah, make sure you guys follow me on the IG. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. It really does help me and my channel grow. Make sure you guys also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!